All right, guys, um, here's a little video about the spreadsheet control F magic. I uh, decided to do it separately because it can be kind of long and I know overwhelming. So here's the big spreadsheet. Lots of things going on. It is sorted by faculty alphabetically. Um, the blue over here indicates that you're involved in testing somehow. Okay, there we go. Over here, it gets a little bit more complicated. Up here are if your room is moving on any of these test days. The, the teachers in the freshman hall and the language arts hall have been gracious enough to give up their rooms so we can test all five days. Um, and then if you have to move, these are the rooms you're moving to here. So since Marissa Bobbitt is up at the top, you can see her regular room is 1314. There's no blue, so she's not a testing room, and she actually doesn't have to move at all, so she's a lucky lady. All right, if we want to go down here and look at Calcaneo, she is in 1213, which is a testing room. So on test the days that she has to test, she's a test proctor, yes. Her room is being used for testing, yes. And then we have her TA responsibilities, so she doesn't have anything until 5-5. Uh, U.S. History Day, she's going to be a TA, um, and TA means test administrator. Down here, there's a legend that tells you what everything is. Here's the TA, test administrator, and then all the codes for everything. So if you want to look at the legend tab, because there's a lot of things on there, you can. Um, so Elizabeth is, she's a regular TA in room 1223 on U.S. History Day because she teaches juniors. But then she has to move on English one day, yes, she has to move. English two, yes, she has to move. Algebra one, yes, she has to move. U.S. History, no, she's not gonna move because her students are testing. And then she does have to move again on Biology Day. And these are the rooms that she's gonna go to. Um, she goes to the library first and second, and luckily she has TBS sections three, four, five, so she can manage that um, however she needs to. And she has conference six period. So that's what she will be doing. Okay, let's find another teacher that kind of has like a, sometimes yes, sometimes no. Um, so Jay DeCoste, okay, his room is being used for testing, yes, but he's not testing at all because he teaches mixed level classes, but he is gonna have to move. So in English one day, he does have to move. On English two day, he doesn't because I don't need his room and we're able to block off that area. So he gets to stay in his room that day. But on algebra one day, he does have to move. And on US history day, he needs to move. Um, and then on biology day, he's gonna move. And then he will move to the, these rooms. He gets to be in 1247 two times. And then he's gonna be in 1514 in Mr. Cottom's room, which we usually don't use, but this is an unusual time. so. There we are. So that's how to read the spreadsheet without control Fing. But if you want to control F, that is my favorite thing to do. And that's how it makes, that's how I became good at my job. So on the keyboard, you're going to hit control F and this little box is going to pop up. So let's say I'm Tony Flynn. So I'm going to type my name in Flynn. And I see that it's on here one time. If I click through this box, it'll highlight down here where it is. So there's my name in case I can't find it alphabetically. So if my name's only on here one time, that's a good thing. But my Tony's room number is 1304. His room number is on, oh, 1304. His room number is only on here twice to indicate his regular room, which is good, but it's on here a second time, so we're gonna use the arrow down and figure out where it is. So 1304, Miss Lowe is gonna actually be in there on two days which says yes in the, in the morning, because um, Mr. Flynn has conference first period, as you can see here. So his room is available for use. All right, let's do another one. Let's say uh, Mr. Sims. Mr. Sims' name only comes up one time here, and yes, he is a test proctor. He is a, testing TVS kids on U.S. History Day in room 1208. All right, now let's see if he's moving in his room. He's not moving the first three test days, but he does have to, um, his students are gonna have to move on US History Day because he has a couple of kids that aren't 
pure 11th graders because of what he teaches. So those kids are going to go to the gym on those days. Okay. And the teachers in there will help monitor them. So he won't be in there with them, but those straggling kids, you'll tell them, I'm testing today. You need to go to the gym during second, third, fourth, and fifth periods. All right, let's see. Let's do another one. Um, let's do somebody from the math department. Let's do Shrant. All right, so Shrant comes up one time. That's good. And Trant is a tester, and her regular room is 1227. So let's see how many times 1227 hits. Six times, 1227. So let's see where it hits. 1227, we see Melissa Harvey is going to be giving um, the U.S. history test in Jackie's room on the 5th. That's the first hit. The second hit is the regular room number for her. That's Jackie's room. Uh, the next hit is showing that on English 1, it's a testing room, which it will be every day, and that Jackie's actually in there on 1227. Next time, same thing. She's testing again, algebra in her room, luckily. And then here it hits again. She's biology testing. So we use this tool so to help us discover if we've overlapped any room numbers. So your job as an educated person is to get onto this spreadsheet and find your name. Let me call you back. Okay. Um, and look at all the tabs, not just the EOC tab. We have a Chrome cart reassignment tab here. So even if I switch tabs and I still have 1227 up here, my name comes one time. So here it is 1227. So Miss Bobbitt is going to be bringing her Chrome cart to my room for testing days. All right. And then AP testing. Let's see. Oh, 1227 doesn't come up. I'm not involved in AP testing at all. Let's look just for fun at the legend. 1227 is not on the legend. So I've addressed all the tabs. I've made sure that I know my room or my name is involved in what, in what way. So you can also... Ask me if you need help or clarification. Talk to your department chair. But uh, it's a good skill to have. Control F. You can do it on a web page. You can do it on a PDF document. You can do it anywhere. It makes life much, much easier. I hope this helped.